So this, I just bought this. It's a 2020 PJ. It's 24 feet. It's 22 plus two. It's 14,000 GBW. It's a pretty sweet trailer. I haven't hauled anything on it yet. But I gotta do some things to it to change. There's a few things I don't like, gonna fix. But I coated the deck with some good deck sealer. The wiring's all sealed. Pretty decent trailer. Bought it from a guy, he bought it brand new. Never used it. So I got a pretty decent deal on it. But one thing I don't like is this spare tire. I'm gonna mount it underneath. Number one, cause I don't like looking at it here. Number two, to keep it out of the sun. But this also is kind of hinky dink there. So cut the, we'll get that tire off there and cut that mount off. Now I have to look at that. It's got removable fenders, so that'd kind of make it nice in case I ever had to drive something wide over it or something like that. The other thing I don't like is these pins. Those things are gonna get lost. They probably won't because I'm going to be the only one running the trailer. I'm not going to bar this thing out. So, but I'm going to make some little cables to keep those tied to the doors, these little flaps. Then my pins won't disappear. Okay. So, this system. Need these aluminum little collars. You take your piece of wire. Cut it to length. You slide one end down here. You slide your little crimp down. Looped it around whatever you want to hold on to or whatever you're doing. You slide the other end in there. Like so. And then you just smash it down. Usually I have a big flat surface and I kind of tap it down with a hammer and it makes it look decent. There's probably some tool you can use to crimp these down. I don't own it, so this will work. And it's not like I'm using this to lift overhead with. So they don't need to be too crazy special. They come with these little things to do that if you want. I don't necessarily care. And I'm just going to run this through the slot for this. Hopefully, this is long enough. We'll have to see. I think it should be. About there. Crimp it down. me I think on the next one this uh, will make us so these don't stick out those kind of are sharp I don't want to poke my little hands so I'll trim this and off the next ones I won't let it hang out as far Anyway, so I'll get that done. Get all the rest of these done. Should be a quick, easy fix there. And then I'll go measure some bolts for the, for the spare tire. See how long we need 
mount that spare tire, so. All right, so I've got the studs of the old spare tire carrier. Got that across the top of the tire for a reference so I can measure. Cut me a piece of square to get that down there. I gotta cut a piece of channel that's long enough. Mount those studs, get the studs mounted, everything welded up. And we're gonna figure out how to get the trailer in here so I can weld that new mount on the bottom of the trailer. So stick with me. So I have created this mount. This is all just built out of scrap from other jobs, so don't look at it too hard. A little piece of square. It's gonna get us down off the cross member in the trailer. It'll leave us enough hanging up here that the lug nuts will have to pull the tire against the cross member in the trailer. So that should keep the tire from rattling, and I'm hoping I can get enough to where I can grind a little spot in the lug nuts and put a cotter pin or some sort of a keeper in there just to keep it from falling off. But that should do. So let me get cleaned up in here, figure out how I'm gonna get 24 feet of trailer and 22 feet of truck in here. Good luck. Good thing no one's gonna see this.
no more tire on the front. Still gotta cut this mount off. Kinda ugly, but it can stay for now. I got this tire under here. It doesn't hang down as far as the jack. It does hang down a little bit past the frame rails, but nothing too bad. I've got enough studs, enough stud hanging off there. I'm gonna, I'll pull it back down, drill them studs for a cotter pin. And it kinda, it kinda wobbles. So I think I might pull it back down, measure my gap up here. Put like a four by four on the front and back side and screw it to the deck just to give it something, give it a little stability front to back so it's not rocking and rolling. But, I like that a lot better. Look, I got more room over there. I could put another. In case I wanted to get serious about spare tires. But, oh. That's that. I think I'm gonna put reverse lights on it right now. They can wait for a minute, so we'll do that another time. I got the carcass of the old trailer loaded up. I gotta get to the scrap yard, get rid of some metal. So I'll run down to my dad's, we'll load up a big pile, do a fall cleanup, but that's that.